Jeremy's duet with Vince Cable will be along in just a moment. But first, the Oscar-winning French actress Juliette Binoche, who starred in The English Patient and Chocolat, returned to the London stage tonight after 12 years, playing the eponymous role in Strindberg's Miss Julie in a new production at the Barbican. Binoche, an actress, singer, dancer and painter who resisted the call of Hollywood and stays in her native country, values her privacy greatly. I spoke to her earlier at the Barbican about the difficulties of playing an aristocratic young woman who beds her father's valley on Midsummer's Night. Miss Julie is a really, really tough role to play. Um, she's not a very likable character for a start. <laughs> <laughs> she's coquettish and she's needy and she's imperious. I did, I'm not playing her like that. But she is essentially, a, she's so sad. I don't so think she's coquettish. It's an idea. She's, she's so Julie. doomed. She's, she's, you know, she's doomed from the start. You kind of know she's going to be doomed. It depends how you want to look at Miss Julie, mm -hmm. you know, how you want to create her. Of course you can make a coquettish, but why do you need to make a mm -hmm. coquettish uh, character? Mm -hmm. It's an idea, you know, because... But I think deep down she wants to be... She's lost in not knowing what is a woman, what is a man. Mm -hmm. She was brought up in both ways. So I think her need of being close is very masculine. Mais moi je ne le ferai pas, notez bien. Car il y a une différence entre nous. Est-ce que vous êtes un homme et moi une femme, quelle est la différence La différence qu'il y a entre un homme et une femme. Je le veux, mais je ne peux pas et... Mon père non plus n'a pas pu le jour où il aurait dû le faire. Non, il ne devait pas le faire. Il devait d'abord se venger. Et ma mère se venge de nouveau à travers moi. As the two main characters, they're going back and forth, like fighting so hard, you know, trying to understand who they are and who the other is and what is the other person's need and desire. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's fascinating. And it's over age, I think, yeah. that this idea of Jean and Miss Julie. You could play any age because it's, it's so about passion, about love, about searching who you are. You know, she's, she's Miss Julie as a kind of a Hamlet mm -hmm. character. She has a layer of, of trying to understand who she is. You love Strindberg. What do you, I mean, what, what because do you he's fearless, because he's generous in his writing, because he's a poet, because um, he's searching for love. He's searching for the impossible idea of loving. Because it's, it's when you expect so much, you're disappointed so much. But when you look at the, the, the parts that perhaps you haven't played, for example, you know, in Maria Stewart, the Schiller, mm -hmm. or in Hedda Gabler, other parts like that, or yeah, Madame Arcadia. You know, and, whether you play Miss Julie, whether <laughs> you play Hedda Gabler, because otherwise, yeah. you know, again, and in, for my taste, I prefer Strindberg. Uh -huh. Because I really, he put his heart in operation, it's all the big, you know, you're really opening up and you really see what's in. So what you think? Yeah, Ibsen yeah. is more uh, head, head oriented, which is he's gorgeous as structure, yes. he's gorgeous of, you know, going into certain place. But what is missing for me, uh, comparing to Strindberg, Strindberg, it just goes into it and he doesn't know whether he would survive it. Yeah. And he wrote the play in two weeks only. Yeah. And in a big crisis, and, and, and you, 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 when you read about his relationship with his wife, he was divorcing as well as was, you know, it, so they would kill each other the, 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 during the day, and at, at the end of the day, they would make love like crazy, you know, <laughs> together on the floor, and <laughs> making up about, you know, changing the whole deal. And actually, in the play, it's really what happens. Yeah. They're always like going back and forth. Oh, it's never the end. Until there's a moment, she's totally alone. She's totally alone. Je m'en fais une motive femme, motive homme, à qui la faute À mon père À ma mère À moi I think in acting it's about forgetting yourself yeah. and the abandonment of of you let go because you want to go with the with the feeling with the with the sensation first of all and the thoughts as well but the head is not leading it's the body that is leading and in the body you have every layers you have the guts you have the emotions you have 
the, the need of the words, the talking and the spirit. And if you don't have everything in one body, the body is use, useless. Mm. The body contains everything. I wonder what you made of France's kind of astonishment at these pictures of the future Queen of England topless in France being in You know, French I was not aware of it because I never look at tabloids. So somebody told me quickly, but I'm not even aware of it. And I think it's better not to be aware of it. But not it, knowing about it. <laughs> but it being ignorant and about it. But it is when there's this magazine, you just you turn your, 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 your eyes away. Are you away. surprised? Are you surprised? Because France has privacy laws. I mean, do, don't you think that's an invasion of privacy? The law in France is very specific. Mm -hmm. You know, even in the street, they cannot take pictures. You can really go after the, you know, uh, mm. uh, the, the photographers and the magazines but that are publishing. Why, you wonder why they took the risk then? This because then problem. you can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> but not, but not see. Otherwise, they wouldn't but care. If nobody but took I care of it, if nobody was buying, if nobody yeah. was looking, they wouldn't take care of it. They wouldn't take the pictures. Say. I think you've said, if I'm right, that it is difficult to embrace success as a French woman. <laughs> but isn't it actually that France finds it difficult to celebrate success? That is quite true. In a way, but at the same time, recently I've observed that there were successful actors and directors and they've been quite embraced. Mm. But maybe when you have your success outside of France, it might be a little more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Jay Binoche, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much. Very much.